What's up everybody, it's Virgil Size, back again with another video, as usual, giving y'all that good content. Uh, I got a really nice, good good tripod for my videos, for what, especially for what I do. I'm going to put the link in the description where I got my tripod from. I got it for like $7 on eBay. It's the one I needed. It's real lightweight, real uh, real lightweight, really good for what I need. But uh, make sure y'all like to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button so, so my videos can pop up on other people's uh, recommended videos so they can also like, share, and subscribe to my video also. So, appreciate that, man. Uh, make sure you also y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I post a video. Um, right now, what I'm about to do is, I'm in the home right now, but right now what I'm about to do is go and change my rear brake pads. They were screeching, squealing. Not screeching, yeah, screeching and squealing. I was like, what the hell, man? It's another thing after another thing. So, my, um, what you call it? Uh, so, my brake, my rear brake pads are squeaking or squealing. It's my right, uh, it's my passenger side rear. It's the, it's the really the main one. I'm gonna show y'all in the mid video, the like the wear indicator where it's screeching at. So let's get right into it, man. Okay. Uh, this spirit, this spiritual levels, no dancing with devils, no fellow with rebels. Some digging with shovels, they digging, they digging, they digging real deep. Some humble, they harking, they listen, they meet. Some praise the most high seven days of the week. Some put in that work and go teach in the streets. Some just come to take up the air that we breathe. Some come just to take up the space that we need. That spiritual levels, that spiritual levels, they come in all shapes and the sun. What we're gonna do is go ahead, put the jack up under the car, get it jacked up a little bit. Uh, make sure you uh, free jack it up. Obviously, you want to unloosen un uh, the bolt, so you jack it up. It'll be easy to unloosen them and just pull them. So here you see me doing it, jacking it up, and then now I'm just twisting them off really quick. Jack it up, make sure you just move the wheel out of the way so you can have space. Uh, mainly, normally you want to just put the wheel under the car. So anything besides that trolley jack, put that wheel right under, but I didn't do it. I don't really, like I said, I'm used to it, so I don't really do a lot of other different stuff. But right now I'm using the 5 8 um, to move the rear bolts. I think the front ones are different, a different size. I think they're like a, uh, a 14 or a 12 or a 13 millimeter socket to move it. Right now I'm using a 5 8 and I just showed y'all um, you need some grease, some lubricant, some uh, brake, some brake grease or some uh, anti-seize uh, grease to lubricate the, uh, the, the metal springs. To, to lubricate the brake pads, the little edges on the brake pads, and then also the um, the caliper itself, and then the uh, what is it called, the metal retainers. So right now you see me pushing back the um, the caliper, uh, the actual caliper. And I have an actual thing that pushes back the caliper, but I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. Like I just got it brand new and it just stopped. Like when I uh, push the caliper in there, it just gets loose every time. So. Kind of hard to explain, but not sure why. But showing you how to break past the difference between the new ones and the old ones. The uh, that side right there specifically, that's where it was squealing and squeaking at. So what I just showed y'all the um, the actual wear indicator, it was scraping the hell out of that. See that right there? It was scraping the uh, wear indicator, so it was squealing the whole time. That brake grease really isn't good. It really isn't worth it. Um, the guy who gave it to me, he actually threw it in there without me knowing, so I paid like a dollar something for it. But that anti seize right here, I'm showing y'all, is much better. Way, way, way better. Um, I think I got it for like seven bucks at AutoZone a while ago. Uh, it's a big container, a good size container. And like I say, I'm using it for the caliper and I'm putting it on, the, uh, I don't know what to call it, but the actual, the whole caliper. And I'm putting it on the uh, metal uh, brackets too. So it can slide, so the brakes can uh, slide smooth as possible. So you want to do this. My other video, when I changed my pads, I didn't put it on there. But actually, um, at also the pads I just showed y'all, if you've seen them, they did the wrong damn pads. So I had to go back up to the AutoZone and go get the right pads. He gave me some pads for the Brembo's. I was like, what the hell? So I went up back up there and got those pads. So right now I'm greasing the uh, the brakes, the actual brake pads, the little, the, um... man I don't know what you call it, I just know how to replace it and fix the stuff man, straight up, but it's like the little corners where it go in at on the sliders, 
some recent nodes, like recent slide, the actual metal uh, pins and the sliders. And also, what you notice when I do, um, instead of unloosening both bolts, I just take the bottom bolt off so I can just flip it up. So I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm, a re I'm a reiterate it again when I go to the other side. So all you gotta do is take that bottom bolt out, see me screwing in, and move, remove that and flip it up. And then you can slide out the slider. That's all it's on, on the slider, that's it. So I'm using a five and a five eighths to take that uh, to take the bolt out. The front is different. I believe it is 13 millimeters. I'm showing y'all in the video. It's a five eighths. And now all I gotta do is put the wheel back on. Uh, I'm jacking. I'm jacking right now. I'm jacking up just a little bit to get more clearance to put it on. So make sure you jack it up and. Um, don't tighten all. Don't tighten the bolts at all from the get go. Put one in by. Put one at the top, one at the bottom. Don't tighten them all the way because it will mess up the. Uh, it will be hard to put the other ones back on. You'll kind of strip the threads. So make sure you just put them on. Don't tighten them too tight. So put them all on. Like you see me doing now, and then you lower it. You see how I lowered it, and then that, then that's when you uh, start to tighten the, the rest of the bolts up. So tighten them as hard as you can. If you got like a little uh, air wrench or uh, what is it called, an actual uh, electric uh, drill or whatever like that, it's kind of it's a lot easier. But obviously using a hand wrench. So right here, you see me doing the same thing. Make sure I jack it up a little bit first, so I can get some. Uh, Make sure that it's jacked up, and then I'll loosen the bolts. But on here, I already uh, had to loosen the bolts before I flip the camera to the other side. Now I am just unloosening the bolts on the wheel. Very, very simple. A uh, little eight-year-old or six-year-old kid can do this job. Man, this is you understand how simple this is. Instead of taking your car to an uh, auto shop, you can do it yourself. Uh, once again, remove the wheel, put it in a safe place. I prefer, preferably. Put it under the car, right beside the trolley jack or whatever kind of jack you have. Put it right under, put it right beside that jack. And once again, I'm using a five eighths and a um a vice strip or a wrench to hold the bolt that's in between the um the slider to unloosen it. So some cars may vary, and some bolts are actually stuck to where you can actually just turn it all the way. So once again, I'm using that. It's just taking off one bolt and flipping it forward and pulling it out. That's all I'm doing. You ain't gotta pull out the both bolts. You can if you want to, but it's much easier. It's a quicker process by doing it that way. You just slide the bolt, the top bolt out, that's it. And right now I'm showing you how the pads are. Those pads on that side were good. It was just the right side, the passenger side, that was giving me the issue. It was squealing and screeching uh, the whole way. I thought it was my front brakes. I'm like, I just replaced my calibers and I got new brake pads, so I was hella cautious. So before I did this, what I'm doing now, I put grease and everything on my front pads. I didn't give a video on that. I just wanted to make sure everything was good. So right here, I'm, uh, the first thing you want to do, I'll, obvious, uh, first thing you want to do is try to push the caliber back so it'll be easy when you put the brake pads in, just to put the caliber on and screw the bolt in, call it a day. It's as simple as it is. They'll charge you like $200, $100 at an auto shop to do this. This is a literally a five to 10 minute process. Once you get that wheel off, it's really a five minute process. <sighs> and really, uh, back in the day when I, before I was as experienced as I am now, I didn't really use grease. You don't really have to use grease like that, but I do prefer it now. So it can always stay and maintain the same way. So they always slide, so you don't have to worry about it. But before I, I as before I was experienced as I am now, um, I didn't put any grease on these brackets, metal brackets, or any other pads, but I do prefer, I see the difference of it. Because the heat gets really hot, especially in Texas. I mean, your brake pads get hot in general, no matter where you at. Even in the wintertime, they still get above like 500 something degrees, so you wanna put grease on it. So right now you see me greasing the caliper, and then the other side of the, like a little, I forget, I don't know what the hell you call it, it's the whole caliper itself, but it looks like the little holders, or whatever. So make sure you grease all that. And then put the brake, uh, then put the caliber back on to the brake pads.
once you put the wheel on and put all the wheel lug nuts on, uh, make sure you go to the car, which I'm gonna show you in the video. Uh, press on the brake so it gets back hard, and then that's how you know the calipers are touching the brake pads. You'll be on your way at that point. That's it. What are you looking at? Hmm? Why are you looking like that? I eat crackers. You eat crackers? I just crying. You eat crackers? Good job, Momo. Yeah. What's up, everybody? That's, um, that's the end of the video. Um, hopefully, y'all like the video, man. Really good content, like I'm giving y'all. I never stop giving y'all good content. A lot of how to videos, because a lot of you do not want to take your car to a mechanic shop and pay. That price because you got to pay for his labor and why not get the brake pads or get the part yourself have the tools already and just do it yourself all you do is spend the money on the on the uh, on the um, on the pads or whatever uh, whatever it might be all you do is spend money on that you're not spending money for somebody else's labor do labor yourself if you have time to do it I know some people got different lives they do not have time so that's understandable but if you have time if you got the tools do it yourself man don't ever depend on nobody else to do it because you do it on your own time when you take it to a shop you got to depend on them time you got to schedule it do this and that you order your parts on ebay or whatever you order them from you get them you do it right then and there so i mean just think about it how to just think about it but Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe to the video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Also, hit the notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I post a video. Always give me the content.